Hi everyone. In the previous video, we have started the discussion of encoder and we have seen the basic logic diagram of the encoder and thereby we have already seen the 422 encoder. So 422 encoder logic circuit we have obtained. Now our task is to learn how to write a VHCL code for the encoder 422 in data flow model, behavioral model and as well as structural model. Okay. So VHDL code VHDL code for 4 by 2 encoder 4 by 2 encoder ok so first we need to write two statements library and IEEE we know very well so first line should be library library IEEE use IEEE dot std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all now entity entity is the place where we declare the inputs and outputs entity encoder four by two is port so what are the inputs for inputs for the 4 by 2 encoder so 4 inputs are there i which is of input mode std underscore logic underscore it is a vector vector of size 4 bit so 3 down to 0 3 down to 0 and output two outputs are there so output we are taking y out std logic vector of size is 2 means 1 down to 0 down to is a single word 1 down to 0 end encoder 4 by 2 encoder 4 by 2 ok now this particular part of entity is common for any type of any type of VHDL style that means whether it is a data flow model, behavioral model or structural model. So the entity part is common for all the codes. So what I am doing is I am keeping this common and next onwards I am taking what is the data flow model for the architecture and architecture for structural model and as well as architecture for the behavioral model. <coughs> okay. So first data flow model data flow model so architecture architecture encoder underscore data flow of encoder 4 by 2 is encoder 4 by 2 is begin let us give it some space here suppose if any signal is required meanwhile then we can write here so begin uh, let us con uh, take conditional statements conditional statement otherwise you can directly uh, write on the output equations itself already we know what are the output equations see in the last video I told you the output equations are like this i3 plus i2 i3 plus i1 so you can directly write on those two otherwise you can use some conditional statements for efficient way okay uh, first i will tell you a simple one y not y of 0 is assigned with y of 0 is assigned with what i3 plus i1 so i of 3 or i of 1 i of 3 plus or i of 1 and y of 1 is assigned with i of 3 or i of 2 and encoder data flow this is a simple data flow code which is written on the output boolean expressions which is written on the output boolean expressions otherwise we can also write the same data flow model using conditional statements 
okay i will write otherwise here uh, data flow model using boolean expression boolean expression now we will see the data flow model data flow model using conditional statements conditional statement so conditional statements in the data flow model are two types with select and when else okay we can use those two now architecture encoder underscore data flow of encoder underscore 4 by 2 is begin with with which one we need to choose i with i select because i decides the output with i select y is now assigned with a 0 0 when when i should be four zeros uh, no no it is one this one should be one okay when i should be zero 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 one that means i not pin is activated so zero output is zero comma and zero one when zero zero one zero one zero when zero one zero zero one one what we have to write when when one triple zero we can write but uh, the condition uh, conditional lines will not be ended if you write one triple zero it should write you should write end sorry you should write other others means it says it is the last step of the conditional statement okay and encoder data flow that's it suppose if you have enable pin also for this decoder encoder then you can write a signal assignment statement here signal some x and that x should be assigned with all the output lines first later x is going to assign with x is going to be assigned to y when comparing an enable is equal to 1 otherwise enable equal to 0 y output is equal to all zeros like that also you can write okay this is first style coming to the second one behavioral model behavioral model of the 4 to 2 encoder okay so i told you the behavioral model or uh, data flow model entity part is common so we are not, i am not going for the entity part coming to the architecture architecture encoder behavioral of encoder 422 422 is begin begin process okay whenever you find this process line in the code you can simply say that it is a type of behavioral model okay process is there only in this particular behavioral model so process of what are the instances we have i only i is the instance here begin process should begin begin here the conditional statement is case case when case i is so because of the change in the i y is changed so case i is when when first see in the case when first when is coming when input and gives you output but when you go to this with select first is assignment later condition okay when uh, y is equal to this one when happen when it happens like that but here when this is the situation then y is assigned with like that okay so when i should be 0 0 0 1 then then means implies y is assigned with output is 0 0 
just a reverse reverse case but here a semicolon should be kept at the end but previously in the with select there is no semicolon only comma was there and when 0 0 1 0 implies y assigned with 0 1 semicolon and when 0 1 0 0 implies y assigned with 0 means 1 0 and what is the last line when others when others you can write one triple zero but as it is the last statement you should write others when others y is equal to one one because that is the only case left okay so now we should end end case end process end architecture what is the name of the architecture encoder behavior so encoder behavior okay this is what the code of the behavioral model for the 4 to 2 encoder and we have seen the data flow model also in two different styles okay now structural model structural model structural model is very easy structural model we have already seen the internal architecture of this 422 encoder internal architecture consists of how many gates see here in the previous video i told you internal architecture consists of two r gates with inputs i3 i2 and i3 i1 okay so that's why we have to take architecture architecture encoder structural of encoder 4 by 2 is see here component should be instanti instantiated so component what are the what is the component we need r gate component r gate is port of a comma b in std underscore logic two inputs only because because the output y0 and y1 needs uh, only two input gate and y uh, some y out in and uh, no, out std logic okay so end component r gate okay see whenever you go for structural model Definitely, you should maintain this R gate in the same project. You have to write a separate code for the R gate, then only this program will work. Again, I am saying, otherwise, it won't work. Okay, component is completed. Next, begin. Begin. So, take some label U1 R underscore gate port map of port map, two separate words port map of. So, what are the inputs we need to? connect here go to the expression 3 2 3 1 so i of 3 comma i of 2 for y of 1 okay this is first one and u2 r gate port map of i of 3 i of 1 and y of 0 y of 0 so 3 1 is for y of 0 and 3 2 is for y of 1 ok end encoder structural ok so this is the structural model of VH, structural style of VHPL model for the 4 to 2 encoder ok in this way we can write a 3 styles very simply ok thank you